All right, gamers, before we get into today's video, before you leave a dislike, before you leave that nasty comment, just know that everything we do within today's video is completely legit and that you guys can actually do this. It involves the use of a website, and personally, this is probably the greatest website I've ever found. So this video more so is kind of an experiment to see if I can actually make a pretty decent amount of money off of it. Now that that's out of the way, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Today, guys, we have an awesome one store for you guys, so make sure to stick around till the end. As per tradition here on the channel, uh, if you can leave a like on today's video, Maybe we can hit a thousand likes for that YouTube algorithm. That'd be great. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I mean, if you want to, I don't know. It's completely up to you. But if you do, make sure to hit that post notification bell. That's all I ask. That's the deal. Do it. All right, so getting started within today's video, guys, we're actually going to buy some hot potato books. Now, this episode, I think I'm actually going to be buying about 10. So I think I'm going to put up a buy order for 10, and hopefully that gets fulfilled. Because as you guys can see, with my armor, we're in the need of a stat boost. Obviously, the helmet is yet to... Actually, no, the helmet is maxed out currently, but the boots we need to work on, and the chest plate we still need to work on. Aside from that, if we head over to the auction agent here, you guys will see we actually won our seven enchanted dandelions from last episode. Now, you guys may be wondering, Ben, why is this important? Well, uh, we've actually been working on leveling up our flower minion for a very very long time and now we can officially do it so heading back over to the island now we are going to walk out of our beautiful beautiful chest room here head over to our flower minion chest and now it is time to upgrade this and there we go it is now tier 8 and if we take a look here and we look at the next upgrade it's going to take four stacks of enchanted dandelion so that is going to take a very very long time honestly but heading back over to the bazaar here as you guys can see our orders did actually fill so we will take that and uh oh our inventory is full no all right we literally have an inventory full of flowers for some reason but uh yeah let's collect the rest of those hot potato books now heading back over to the island now we are gonna head into our enchanting room and boy have we been using this building a lot recently before this we've actually never were inside of this so it, it's kind of cool that we're starting to utilize this actually but taking off the boots and the chest plate because i think that those are the most important things we actually need to upgrade within today's video we are going to start applying these hot potato books all right so just like that we actually maxed out our boots now i think it's important to mention that our helmet is not nearly enough upgraded because I thought it was actually maxed out but in fact it is actually not uh, we still have a lot of upgrading to do on it but uh, I, I might as well add it now and uh, this is going to be a great stat boost for us guys so now as you guys can see we now have over 1500 health which is obviously progress at the end of the day and I'm slowly but surely becoming a little bit of a better skyblock player folks don't you worry and if you guys have any tips in the comments down below let me know all right so next up here I'm being pretty lenient with money so I am going to buy my tier 11 upgrade on the carrot in here because obviously I can make money whenever I want when turning these snow minions to tier 11 so obviously I can make literally right now in this chest alone probably over three million dollars worth of profit but if we head down to our potato and carrot minion as you guys can see uh we are going to need about I think six yeah 16 enchanted golden carrots which is completely doable and it's very very easy to obtain but heading back to our friend bazaar here we are going to be using this a lot within today's video but uh we are actually gonna buy 15 here instead of 16 uh, of course so uh just like that we bought it for 868k now we can head back to the island and upgrade this to tier 11 so it's time to add another diamond crown to the family and just like that uh another tier 11 has been obtained it seems like every episode we always just obtain one which is completely good because as you guys can see here we have a family of tier 11 minions that are literally overflowing this chest we actually have more than this uh so we do actually have to make this a double chest here but as you guys can see if we head over to the collections here we still have so many minions left to upgrade it's actually pretty ridiculous oh my but like I was saying, as you guys can see, uh, we still need to upgrade the zombie minion. We have obviously so many more minions to upgrade. I know as I'm hovering over them, we have so many tier 11s. But the fishing minion, the zombie minion, those are the minions that we do need to place down. Especially even the zombie minion, because that's literally the easiest one to upgrade the tier 11. We can literally get that done like in one episode. Now instead of flooding the island with a bunch of fence posts and everything, we are going to just put it down in this little hole here and completely forget about it. So we are just going to throw the enchanted lava bucket on it, the super factor, of course, and just let these go. But... Uh, a little bit of an update on our mushroom mini if we take out the enchanted red mushrooms now we head into the chest here we are getting very very close to that tier 11 upgrade we're halfway there but for the main proportion within today's video guys we are going to do some duping off the bazaar now it sounds kind of crazy but we can in fact buy things off the bazaar and sell them for more hence duping coins in a sense now before we get the comments of people saying oh ben you're a clickbaiter wait hear me out here the proof is in the pudding folks i will show you because you could technically honestly dupe coins doing this now the real experiment within today's 
today's video is can you make a lot doing this? So we are going to actually warp on over to the Skyblock Hub, but we're also going to pull up a website. Now in the description down below, I'm going to link some of the websites that I used within today's video, but this first one is called stocks.gg, and this is actually, I think, made by the admin mini clune, and this has been very, very helpful. So what some of this website actually tracks is what you can actually buy and sell for more. So if we head over to the margins area of the website, you guys will see currently we can make a 60% profit off of Prismarine shards, meaning that we can actually buy shard for 4.3 coins and then sell for 6.9 coins. This other website is called BizarreTracker.com and currently the top crafts which we can make a lot of money from is Enchanted Glistering Melon which if we buy melon and golden ingots we can actually sell that for a 2.1k profit. Now I assume that this is going to be a lot of work but this is honestly a great way of making money if you are a new player. Literally you just buy things and sell them for more. It is essentially duping money and we're going to try and test that out right now. So on a much smaller scale we just bought four stacks of melons now what we need to do is we need to buy some gold so we according to the website we do need to buy 228 gold ingots and now that we have those gold ingots we should be good to go to start actually crafting this up now i think the website's a little bit off because we're actually i think 200 coins off so i think we actually need to put 200 coins in more so i think we're now going to be getting a 1900 coin profit instead of a 2.1k profit all right so all glistering melons have been crafted up now we craft the enchanted glistering melon and now we sell this to the bazaar and I think we are supposed to make a sell order and hopefully by the way this is all making sense while I'm going here I'm kind of trying to learn while I do this there we go we actually I think made around a 3k profit off doing this and honestly I think I'm going to try and do this a little bit more and see how much we can actually make this is so time consuming I don't know how anybody would be able to do this I mean yes it's free money but oh my gosh I feel like if you're a little bit more of an advanced player this is completely useless but if you're a new player by all means I think this is literally free money. All right, so it's the next day now, and we do have 18 Enchanted Glistering Melon. Now, obviously, I was doing a little bit of this bizarre flipping stuff, and uh, what I am now going to do is I'm actually going to make a sell offer here, and I'm going to try and get the most money out of it. So as you guys can see, we should actually be able to make 125k off this, meaning we should make around a $60,000 profit off this. It's great money at the end of the day, and of course, profit is profit, but let's make the real money, folks. Let's uh, flip some snow minions. This is a proven technique that we've always used used and uh, it has never failed me. So we're going to try and make at least over a million coins off of two today. I love the fact while we collect this enchanted snow here, we are actually leveling up our black cat pet, getting it a little bit up before we actually really start grinding out leveling this up because I do actually want to get this up to at least about level 50. But heading back over to the snow minion here, we are going to upgrade it to tier 11 so that we can get ready on selling this. And now we are going to place down the other tier one and get to upgrading. All right, buckaroos, uh, we just got the second tier 11 minion. So now now we are going to head back over to the Skyblock Hub and advertise towards uh, getting these sold. And just like that, shout out to the LEGO Max 5 for the first deal of the day. And there we go. The final deal has been made all within like literally five minutes here. Now, if we head back over to the Skyblock Hub, I believe I was just notified that our Glistering Melon just sold. So if we head on over here and we claim our order just like that, we received 125k. Now, with this money that we just actually obtained, I am going to go over to combat here and buy some Enchanted Slime Blocks and finish off that Tier 11 upgrade on the slime minion. We're only in the need of five and currently it's going to be about 780,000 coins to buy that, which is not too bad. Now, if we head into our ever so cluttered ender chest here, please, excuse me, th th this is so cluttered. I, I really, really need to clean it out. We are now going to add another tier 11 minion to the collection and just like that, welcome to the diamond crown squad, my friend. Shout out to my friend uh, Stroke here. He actually just gave me some New Year cakes that we can actually add to our New Year cake bag. Now, this is literally the only type of handout I really like to take because as you guys can see here, we open up our New Year cake bag. You guys can see we are in, we're really lacking in the New Year cake department. And I think literally all the New Year cakes we just added stroke uh, aren't new to me. So <laughs> I think we actually have to take all these out, of course. But hey guys, at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts. Shout out to this guy. All right, so I came down here and I was gonna do some flower farming, but first things first, our flower farm is uh, all screwed up. I literally have no idea how this is <laughs> even working right now but uh if we head over to the potato mini here guys you guys will see we actually have an enchanted baked potato in here which uh of course is added to our upgrade here now we only do need about 15 but i think yeah we already have uh one in here so we now need 14 but what the heck happened here literally like this isn't even these are source blocks but they're not even tall enough to be a source block like what but while i fix that of course uh if you made it up to this point in the video comment hashtag skyblock in the comments down below i appreciate every single one of you guys that make it up to this point in the video and while you're down there, if you're subscribed already, make sure to hit that post notification bell so that you are notified every time I do upload and leave a like for that YouTube algorithm. Maybe
maybe we can hit a thousand likes who knows but without further ado signing off for the day guys we'll catch you guys all next time peace out